Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm going to give you a tour of BuzzStream for link building. BuzzStream provides tools for researching link opportunities, managing your team's link building activities, and conducting effective outreach. And that leads to more links. Let's start by looking at how BuzzStream takes the work out of finding and researching link opportunities and then documenting them. To find opportunities, I'll start by entering prospecting searches into BuzzStream. Now for this campaign, I'm promoting an ebook for a software company that sells to IT professionals. So I'll enter in prospecting terms to find IT-related blogs. Once I enter this search, I'm going to get results back just like I would from a search engine. But instead of being presented with a list of results that I then have to manually research one at a time, BuzzStream gives me a single interface with the information that I need to evaluate each prospect's relevance and value. Let's look at one of the sites that's in my results set. Looking at the recent content for this site, I can see that it's highly relevant to my campaign. I can also see that both the page rank and Moz rank are high, and that the site has a decent number of inbound links. If I want to, I can also drill in to see the specific pages that were returned from the searches and see the metrics for that page. Well, this looks like a good prospect for this campaign, so I'll add it. I'll change the relationship stage from not yet researched to not started. I'll set the overall rating to high. And I'll add a note to the record to remind me why I thought this was relevant to my campaign. I'll also click on the suggested profile info to see what contact information was discovered. And I can see that an email address was found on the blog's Contact Us page, and a Twitter ID was also found. I'll add these to the contact record as well. In addition to the prospecting search tool, I can also add link prospects using BuzzStream's bookmarklet called the BuzzMarker. When I come across a site that looks like a potential link opportunity, I use the BuzzMarker to gather information about the site and then, if it makes sense, add it as a contact. And if I buzzmark a website that's already in my account, I'm notified immediately. That way I don't waste time and I'm not cross-contacting people that my coworkers are already talking to. So let's buzzmark this page and see what happens. When I add an opportunity with the buzzmarker, I can also add information about the page I want to link on. So in this case, my goal is to get this link organically. But if I'm looking at something like a chamber of commerce or a paid directory, I can keep track of all that purchase information as well. I'll also enter the page on my site I'd like a link to and the anchor text I'd like them to use. I'm not required to enter this information, but it's helpful because BuzzStream's backlink checker will monitor the pages I enter to look for new links and for changes to existing links. So I've built up a prospect database using the prospecting search tool and the BuzzMarker. Now BuzzStream goes to work to help me keep track of the link opportunity. For example, when I communicate with my contacts, BuzzStream automatically keeps track of these interactions for me. As you can see, I started talking to this site owner through Twitter, and I made the link request through email. But what did I have to do to get this information into BuzzStream? Well, not much. Any Twitter conversations between me and my contacts are automatically discovered by BuzzStream. And for email, when I sent the request, I just BCC'd my BuzzStream email address, and it was automatically added to the contact record. Having a complete view of all of the information about a link contact, including the reasons I thought they were relevant and the conversations I've had with them, helps me conduct more personalized, effective outreach. And that's the key to getting links. Now let's get started with our outreach. I'll start by using BuzzStream's filtering capabilities to create a segmented outreach list. I can filter in a number of ways to build my list, including things like whether or not a site has linked to us in the past, whether I've communicated with the site owner before, whether I have a link agreement in place with the site, and whether they're actually linking to us. In this case, I'll filter to find all IT bloggers that have an overall rating of high and that I haven't reached out to yet. So I've got my list. Let's see how I can use BuzzStream's outreach module to conduct outreach that's both relevant and personalized. I'll start by selecting the contacts. I'll select the template that I want to use for my email. And then I'll start my campaign. On the left-hand side of the screen, I have a full history for each contact that includes my communications with them, my notes about them, and any links. This gives me all the information that I need to then personalize the email, which is shown on the right-hand side of the screen. I'll personalize the email, and then I'll click Send and Go to Next Contact. When I do this, the relationship stage is automatically changed from Not Started to Attempting to Reach, and the email is added to the contact record. The outreach module gives me a way to scale my outreach without sacrificing personalized, relevant communications. Finally, I can monitor my links with the backlink checker. The backlink checker monitors all the pages I've added to BuzzStream, 
and finds both new links to these pages and changes to my links. So if a link is removed, I'll be notified. If it's changed to a nofollow or if the anchor text isn't what I'd expected, I'll know. Or if the page rank or number of outbound links on the page changes, I'll be made aware. The backlink checker does the manual work for me so that I don't have to worry about it. So that's a quick overview, but we've really just scratched the surface of what you can do with BuzzStream. So if you have any questions, just email us at help at buzzstream.com.